Let's start breathing. Okay. All right. So you can cross your legs. You can kind of remove the flesh out from underneath you. So really finding and connecting with your sit bones, the base of your hips. And then roll the shoulders up and back a couple times. Start taking some nice deep breaths and maybe close your eyes. And notice as you close your eyes, if your eyelids kind of flex over the eyeballs. So just start to bring your awareness there and soften those little muscles around your eyes. And then you can pause with the shoulder circles, let your shoulders start to feel a little heavy and heavier down through your arms and your hands. Then your hands land either palms up or down, whatever feels good for you. Palms up is sometimes nice with like a little extra stretch on the top of the hands or the wrists. Super subtle. And it may be a lot. And then from here, we'll just focus on our breath. So go ahead and bring your awareness to the space between your eyebrows and dive inside. And then start to take a nice deep breath in and imagine the inner layer of your lung space really expanding and filling up with fresh oxygen. Hold the breath at the top here. Zip up a little more air. Imagine your rib cage really flaring open. And then with an open mouth, just exhale it out. Okay, and then do that again. Fill all the way up. Doesn't matter where the breath reaches. Just pause and hold it at the top. Feel your spine grow a little longer so you can feel this imaginary pull from the tip of the head up to the ceiling. And then with an open mouth, exhale it out. Relax to your neck, relax to your shoulders and your arms. And then let's keep doing that. Fuller breath in, filling into your belly, feel your ribs expanding into your chest, holding the breath there, heavy shoulders, and then an effortless release, just open mouth exhale, and then start to squeeze into the core to get air out, and then keep going, we'll do two more. Feeling every little tiny crevice in your lung space, holding the breath, relaxing the shoulders and the jaw and the eyes, and then open mouth exhale. Relax into your hips, squeeze some more stale air out. So make your exhale longer. And then last, fuller breath. Fill every little tiny crevice of the lungs. <laughs> Hold it at the top. Hold it, sip it up. Relax those shoulders, feel your spine really tall. And then open mouth, exhale. Squeeze all of that stale air out of the body. Really, really, really empty here. And then let breath fill you up naturally. And then empty you out. Maybe it's an open mouth sigh. <sighs> right, you guys are all on mute here. Forgot to mention that. So don't hesitate to make noise. Right? We, are, we are animals after all. And it's really kind of therapeutic for us to make authentic noises. So don't hesitate. Just uh, whenever you want throughout our class. Let's bring our palms together in front of our heart center. Drop your gaze down. Maybe feeling a little stretch in your neck. Dive in towards your heart center. So even with your eyes closed, still internalizing, maybe envision your heart. Envision your heart gently beating inside of your chest. Effortless, always. And then with that awareness of your heart space, start to bring and invite an intention in, into your body, into your mind. This can be a word, like abundance. Abundance is definitely my word, so I just gave you my secret. <laughs> right? Abundance or courage or health, right? Whatever is just resonating with you most in this moment to support you through your practice on or off of your mat. Start to repeat this in your mind a few times. Notice how your mind may drift and wander to other things. So just circle it back. Already practicing that redirection of your thought process back to your intention. And then smile really, really big as you think about this intention. Just get the biggest smile on that face. See? Good. Take a deep breath in. And then release your hands. And we can gently open the eyes up, letting light back inside. Beautiful. All right, we're going to switch things up today. Come up of what you are sitting on. Scoot that bolster pillow off to the side, and we're going to roll onto our back. So before you roll, Feet on the ground, reach your arms forward and try to bring one vertebrae down at a time. Taking your sweet time and trying to control this, resisting the temptation to just drop onto the back. Beautiful. Once you're there, bring both knees into your chest and rock a little side to side. We're going to hold on to the right knee, interlacing your fingers over that shin, kind of by the knee. Straighten your left leg, reach up through the heel, 
and then slowly lower that leg. Take your time all the way down to the floor. Keep that left leg really active and pushing forward. So it's like you're stepping on the wall in front. Now push into the back of your head to lift your shoulder blades and tuck them underneath you. And then relax that. Take a deep breath into your belly. And as you exhale, squeeze your knee into your chest and a little bit towards your shoulder. The same time as you're squeezing your right knee in, keep pushing that left leg forward. Every exhale, you're squeezing a little more. Every inhale, you can even soften the grip a little bit. Let that knee come away from your torso smidge so you're filling up with oxygen, creating space around your organs. And then you exhale and compress it all by squeezing it back in. So you're actually aiding tremendously with digestion here. Full breath in. Relax your jaw. Maybe your eyes are closed again. Full exhale, compressing. One more breath. Good. And then we're going to switch legs. So right away, bring the left knee in. Switch your clasp. So the opposite index finger is on top. Right leg goes straight up to the ceiling. So we feel a little tiny micro stretch in the back of the leg. And we take our time to lower that leg down. Push forward through the bottom of that right leg. Stay strong. Take a full belly breath. Exhale, squeeze your left knee in and a little bit out towards your left shoulder. Deep breaths here, feeling around the organs and into the belly. Exhale, compressing. And use your arm strength here versus the shoulders shrugging up. Try to pull the shoulders, your outer shoulders, down towards the mat. Feel your shoulder blades press down onto the floor. And keep breathing, right? Always keep your breath flowing. Softening where you can, releasing extra tension through the jaw eyes, your eyebrows. One more full breath. <sighs> Good. And then bring the right knee in, meeting the left. Hug both knees in, rock a little side to side. Let's plant our feet on the floor. Knees are staying bent. Inch your toes or your feet a little closer to you. Maybe you can tickle your ankles with your, your fingertips. Palms are next to your hips and start to push your feet into the floor to lift your hips up. Peel your spine up, and then once you feel like you cannot lift, tuck a shoulder under you, and then tuck the other shoulder under you. And then keep tucking until you can't tuck anymore. Relax that. Let your hands be relaxed either just out, palms up, or interlace your hands underneath you, pushing your arms like a lever into the floor, helping you to lift your hips. Squeeze those glutes. Take two more breaths. Breathe into the front body here, expanding. One more, deeper press, lift. Release your hands if they're touching and slowly roll your spine onto the floor. Feeling a nice little bit of soft tissue work. Open your arms out to a T. Step your feet wider so they're as wide as the mat and start moving your knees to the right and left. So a little windshield wiper movement, right? Imagine what your windshield wipers look like on your car. And this is exactly what we're doing with our legs. <laughs> okay. Now from here, just pause at the top, knees pointing to the ceiling, bring those feet back to about hip distance. And now we're going to bring our right leg or our right ankle over the left knee, and then right hand pushes that right knee away from you. Now your right ankle bone may be right on your left thigh, so start to push the ankle bone to the left, past the outer left thigh. Keep pressing the right knee away, and when you're ready, lift the left foot off the floor, pulling that knee in towards your chest, and hold the back of the left leg. Now your right hand can come between the legs to grasp that left hand, or clasp, whatever, clasp, grasp, same thing, right? <laughs> Relax the lower leg. Again, tuck your shoulders underneath you so our bra is constantly nice and, our broad, our chest is constantly nice and broad. And then rock side to side here. So you actually start to feel a little bit of a different type of stretch through the outer hip, going all the way towards the left you might feel really nice, like it does for me right now. Woo, take a breath. And exhale, remember find ease. Go over towards the right and then the left, right? Maybe just staying still in center feels really good for you. We're all gonna feel this a little bit differently. What we're stretching here is your piriformis muscle. This is a muscle that connects from the outer, greater trochanter, your outer hip bone, the top of your femur bone, right? So if you think about your femur bone, the biggest bone in your body, the top of it is a, is a ball in the socket. On the outer edge of that, on your outer hip, there's this muscle that connects there and straps across your glutes and connects to the lower part of your sacrum. So the triangle bone and the base of your spine. So it's connecting your spine to your hip, right? And so this muscle specifically gets really, really tight if we're sitting for long periods of the day, right? So allow movement in, allow breath in. We're gonna take one more breath. 
And then release your grip, drop the left foot to the floor. Straighten your right leg up, pause here. Point the toes and then flex the toes. Point and flex a few times. Maybe start doing some ankle circles. And then breathe, right? Deep breath. Take advantage of being able to be so present with your breath right now. You never have to think about breathing. I say it all the time, right? But be present with your breath, breath throughout your practice. A whole hour of thinking about breathing. How awesome is that? Okay, and then we're gonna bend the knee, drop that foot to the floor, lift the left leg up, little tiny stretch, reaching up to the heel, and then bend the knee, bring that ankle over the right thigh. And again, feel the ankle bone push past the outer edge of that leg, out of that thigh. Left hand can push your left knee away. You can start to feel how maybe the hips tilt a little bit here, right? My right hip hikes up when I push that left knee down. So see if you can keep your sacrum, that lower back on the floor, and then focus on pushing, right? Because this, this muscle connects through our lower spine to the outer hip bone. So notice how just by moving your leg, it totally shifts things, right? And then your left hand or lift that right foot, your right hand grabs the outer right thigh, and then our left hand comes between the legs to clasp that hand, clasp your right. Relax the lower right leg, tuck your shoulders underneath you, Lengthen the back of your neck so your chin comes towards your throat, but your head is on the floor. And then take a full breath in. Exhale, squeeze this leg in just a little bit. Simultaneously, your left elbow can be pushing that left knee out still. And then as you're doing this, notice how maybe that lower spine is off of the floor. So you can start to increase the stretch in your piriformis muscle by pushing your tailbone down towards the floor. So your tailbone, right, your sacrum is pressing down into the mat, and then your left elbow is pushing that left knee away. So you're helping to stretch this little tiny muscle. It's super deep inside of your hips too. Really, really deep connected muscle. Full breaths. Maybe, right, try to rock. Woo, a little right, a little left. Left is a lot easier there, but right side, leaning over that right, man. Ooh, I feel that on my left hip. Keep breathing. Right, so oxygen, that is what breath is. Keep breathing oxygen into your bloodstream so that you can keep blood flowing through these tight little spots in the body. Every exhale, you're just talking to your nervous system, relaxing those nerves. Couple more breaths here, movement or stillness. Try to elongate so that your whole spine is on the floor, right? Except for the little curvature that naturally happens. Good, one more breath. And then release your hands, drop the right foot down, left leg goes straight up, pause, point those toes, and then flex them. And then point, and then flex, and point, and flex, and then circles. Deep breath in. Other direction. Good, bend that knee. Let's do bridge pose again. Hands by your side. This time we're gonna move our arms too. Palms are facing your hips. Outer edges, pinky edges of your hands are on the floor. Feet hip distance, push into your feet, lift your hips, lift your arms up. Reach your arms all the way behind you, keeping your palms facing each other, okay? And then lift your arms up, slowly drop your arms and your spine down at the same time. So hips and hands drop together. Good, trying to move one vertebrae at a time, peeling the lower back, peeling the upper back, reaching your arms all the way to the back of the room. We're gonna do five of these. The arms start the movement as you slowly come back down, lowering one vertebrae down and then hips and hands together. Three more, inhale, push and lift, reach your arms, squeeze those glutes, lift your hips. Slowly arms come up and lower the hips and spine down. Good, two more. Full breath, reaching all the way back, and then we exhale. Last one, big breath. Reach all the way back, exhale. Hug both knees into your chest. Rock side to side, left to right, left to right. Beautiful. All right, from here, left foot on the floor. You can let this leg go long if you want to. Interlace behind your right thigh, lengthen that leg straight up. Now, we're gonna keep the foot flexed, so your heel's reaching up, toes are flexed to you slowly, and actively pull that heel down towards your right glute. Then we're gonna point the toes and reach that leg straight up. Flex to your, those toes to your face and pull the ankle actively down towards your glute. Point and extend, flex and bend. 
point and extend, flex, and bend. Let's do three more. Point, inhale, extend, flex, exhale, bend. Point. Keep going. One more. Good. Straighten that right leg, meeting the left, reach your arms behind you, full body stretch. And then left knee bends, bring it in, hold on behind the thigh. And then we're going to flex that foot, heel reaching up, take a breath, active right leg, pushing forward, take another inhale. And then exhale, pull this heel actively down, so you're really strong through the whole leg. Then we point, we extend, flex, and then we bend, really active. In point, inhale, extend, flex, exhale, bend, three more. Last one. Good. Hug both knees in. So what we're doing there is really helping with kind of the sciatic joint, helping to just stimulate, create blood flow, activating all the way down the leg, as well as the hips. So you can see here I'm doing circles, holding onto my kneecaps, move your knees in opposite directions. Good. Big circles. And then go in the other direction. So here we're like scooping out the hips. And a lot of lower back focus here. And my wonderful step mommy. And so we're stimulating into our hips. Hips connect with our lower back, connect with our lower legs. It's all interconnected. All right, hold on behind your thighs and then we're gonna rock up and down. Good, just a few times to feel a little soft tissue work along your spine. Right, and as you roll back, you may feel this little pocket in your lower spine. So really round. Good, and let your legs move with you. So with momentum, legs go back, and then they pull you up, heart pulls forward. One more time. Good, and now we're gonna pause right here in our boat pose. So your feet can be on the floor. Option A, hands behind you, pass parallel. Option B, hold behind your thighs, or option C, reach your arms forward. We're gonna do 10 full breaths here, my friends. If you get fatigued, notice where your mind is going in discouraging places, so use your intention. Smile and breathe. Yee, just smile so big, right? We're all home, maybe more than usual. I know that I'm eating a lot more than usual, <laughs> especially late at night, which is the no-no, and I know it. Just looking at me, take another breath. I just love chips. Okay, cross your ankles, inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Let your hands land on the floor, let your head be really heavy. And then as you exhale, hug your belly and squeeze into your core, right? Push air out. But what you're doing is you're getting your belly out of the way. Now walk your hips a little bit back, one at a time, right? Bring your body weight over to the right and move the left hip back a little bit. And then from there, you're moving your hips back. So now let's pull the upper spine forward. Lengthen your heart towards the horizon. Exhale, fold forward. Couple more breaths right here into the stretching feel. Heavy your head. One more. Come all the way up to a seated position. Let your legs go long out in front of you. Circle your ankles, a little left and a little right. Let your knees move with you. Notice the kinetic chain on how you just focus on moving your feet and it brings the movement all the way into your hips, right? Okay, left leg stays long. Right ankle's coming over that thigh again. Very similar to what we did when we were seated. Hands are behind you. Bend the left knee, foot on the floor. Now lift your heart up, lengthening your spine, and push your heart towards this right knee. You should start to feel this on the outer right hip a bit, maybe behind that leg a little, maybe rock side to side. Take another breath. Engage your belly as you exhale. Good. Now flip your fingers towards your body. So your bottom wrists are pointing to the back of the mat, and you're going to lean back into it so there's a little triangle on your arms. Left foot is rooted. Push into that left foot and lift your hips just enough that you feel that stretch, it's deep in your shoulders here too. Maybe squeeze your glutes and try to lift your hips a little bit higher. And then slowly lower all the way down. Beautiful. Lengthen that left leg. Perfect. Let's lift that right knee, dropping your foot onto the outer edge of your right or left thigh. Hold on to your shin here. Lift your heart up. Maybe even remove the flesh out from under you. Take another deep breath. Engage your belly as you exhale. Now your left hand wraps around that knee. Right arm goes up and then slowly reach back or land your hand down right behind the low back in a twist. Deep inhale, lift your heart up. 
Exhale, engage your belly and twist. Gaze back as well. Couple more breaths. Soften your jaw. Elongate your inhale and exhale. Good, and then we'll release. Bring both hands to the outer left hip and then dip your heart towards the floor. Come back up, so we're just counter twisting. Lengthen your right leg long, shake out the legs. Good, now left knee bends, left foot comes over that thigh and we push the knee down. Good, and then hands behind you. Lift that or bend that right knee, foot on the floor. Maybe rock a little side to side. Notice how maybe you're rounding here. So push into your hands, pull your heart center forward, engage your belly as you exhale. Now when you're ready, if you want to, all optional, fingers are spread wide, fingertips point towards your glutes, maybe bring this right foot in a little more and then push, lift, beautiful, gaze straight up. Couple more breaths. Squeeze your glutes, lift the hips, one more. And then lower back down. Good, if you wanna stay here one more time, really get close towards this left knee. And then slowly soften, let that right leg go long. Lift this knee up, dropping your left foot to the outer right thigh. Right leg is super active, toes are up, see? And then, see? And then hold on to the front of the left shin, roll the shoulders back, elbows in by your waist. Take a full breath, engage your belly here, stabilizing the leg. Right elbow wraps around the front of the knee. Left arm up and we rotate. Hand behind the low back, deep breath in, lift the heart. Engage your belly and twist, gazing back. Couple more here, active right leg, keep that thigh engaged. Keep both hips evenly rooted. Last one, fuller breath in, longer exhale. And then release, both hands to the outer right hip, dip low, okay, come back up. Release that left leg nice and long, shake out the hips side to, or the legs side to side. And then again, remove the bits from under you. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward into Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Now again here, you can see I'm inching one hip back and then the other hip back. Your legs can even move with you, totally fine. Inhale, lift your heart to the horizon. Engage your belly as you exhale, fold forward. Let's take two more breaths, that's it. And just bring awareness to where you feel the stretch the most in this pose. Good, engage your belly, pull all the way back up, roll the shoulders back. We're gonna bend the knees and do a full reverse table. Hands land, fingers pointing to your glutes, lift your hips, three breaths here. If it feels okay for your neck, commit to dropping it back, but really relax through those muscles. Good, one more breath, lift higher, squeeze those glutes, and then exhale, slowly lower. Good, cross your ankles, let's come forward over the knees to tabletop position. If you want, scoot those knees out to the side and always another option on how you get there. So in your tabletop position, fingers wide, knees under your hips, tops of the feet flat. Inhale, drop your belly, look all the way up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, cow pose. Feel the outer shoulders roll back. Exhale, push your shins into the floor to round to the spine. Inhale, little bend in your elbows. Feel the hands pull towards the knees. Exhale, round it out. Chin all the way to your chest, neck is long. Inhale, cow pose, last one. Fuller breath. Exhale, cat pose. Good. Curl your toes, push your hips to your heels. Move a little left, move a little right. Good. Engage your core, stabilizing that low spine. Relax your head. Start to step your hands a little forward, further forward. Heavy your head now through your arms. Good, and then we're getting ready. We're preparing ourselves for our downward facing dog. So, start to push into your hands to lift your knees up. Feeling your thigh muscles turn on here. Knees are hovering above the shin. I mean, yeah, knees are hovering above your shins, right, I dare you. <laughs> shins are hovering above the floor. Engage your core, relax your head again through your arms. Push out of your hands to feel your spine grow long and then lift your tailbone up high on your tippy toes here. Stay on your tippy toes, heels lifting as much as you can. So you're still feeling a little stretch through the bottom of your feet. Bend your knees just a little. Flip that tailbone up higher. Roll the outer shoulders to the outer edge of the mat. And then slowly feel your heels pull towards the floor. Deep breath here. Sigh it out as you exhale. Look at your feet. 
Lift your heels, bend your knees, engage your belly, and walk your hands to the back of the mat. Heels drop to the floor, inhale your hands on your shins, lift halfway up. Exhale and pull forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Really reach your tailbone back and the crown of the head forward here. Exhale, fold forward. One more time, inhale, long half forward fold. Exhale, fold forward. Grab your elbows with your opposite hands, move your torso side to side, left to right. Shake your head yes and no. Maybe bend your knees a lot so your belly touches those upper thighs. Really bringing this stretch out of the lower back. Take another breath. Drop your hands, push away from your feet and roll all the way to standing. Roll the shoulders up and back. Inhale the arms all the way up. Hands to your heart with your exhale. Good. Now, sweep your arms all the way up. I'm gonna face you. You're gonna clasp your, let's do our right wrist. I'm gonna mirror you, okay? So clasp your right wrist, and then you're gonna swoop your right leg behind your left leg, toes land. Lean over in that direction and start to pull your right hand over to the left. Take a couple breaths here. Start to feel maybe that left leg or your right leg elongate and straighten. So you feel a little stretch through the outer calf. You should feel this on the outer hip, maybe the low back here. Keep breathing, one more breath. Reach as you exhale. And then bend that right knee, push away from the floor and come back up. Good, switch hands. So now you're holding your left wrist. Bend into the right knee. Swoop the left leg behind, toes land. You can bend both knees and slowly pull yourself over. Take your time, maybe straighten into that left leg. Feel a little stretch through that back leg. Deeper breath in that whole left side. Reaching as you exhale. Couple more. Good, one more. Beautiful. Bend that left knee, push away from the floor, come back up. Now we're switching, moving with breath. Right leg goes back. See if you can bend that right knee and pull yourself over. And then push and come back. Left leg steps, bend both knees, reach that left arm over. Inhale up, switch. Inhale, one more. Come back to standing, fold forward as you exhale, good. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, left leg goes back. Drop the knee down, inhale, both arms up. Push away from your right foot. Exhale, sink into it. Inhale, push away. Exhale, sink. One more, inhale. Exhale, sink and stay here. Roll the shoulders back, focus on the upper body elongating. Good, let's bend the left elbow. Grab that elbow with your right hand. Take a deep breath. And then slowly side bend over to your right. Good, another full breath. Reaching as you exhale. And then inhale, elongate. Right elbow comes onto your right forearm. Now reach, let your left arm come in front of your face and reach towards the kind of right side of the room-ish. I mean, for sure, right? But feel that reach. Root the left knee down and reach through the left hand. Good, feeling that? Take another breath. Engage your belly as you exhale. One more inhale, and then left hand down to the floor. Right arm goes right up to the ceiling. Now you're in a twist. Facing your heart towards the right side of the room. Push into the big toe mount on your right foot. Reach higher through the right fingers. Take another breath. Engage your belly as you exhale. Good. Curl your left toes here, and then lift the knee. Feel your outer right hip push to the midline of the mat. Take another breath. Reach up. Engage your belly. Last one and then right hand comes down. Step the right leg back. Find your first plank pose. Pads here. You can always choose to drop your knees down, right? Option one, option two, keep those knees lifted and we're gonna take three breaths. Engaging your belly as you exhale. Heels are pushing back. Crown of the head's forward. One more breath. Slowly, you can drop your knees or go full chaturanga down to your belly and we'll all meet there. Untuck your toes, keep your elbows squeezing into your body. Cobra pose or knees cobra. Exhale, lower. We're gonna do two more heart openers. Hands can come on the outer edges of your mat. Press into your hands, lift your heart. Squeeze those glutes. Exhale, lower. You can do that again or hands come forward about a hand print in front of your shoulders. Push into your hands with your elbows and forearms. 
This is a seal pose. Take another breath. And then bend the elbows, let the belly drop. Good. Forehead maybe on the mat, hands under your shoulders. Curl your toes, push to your knees. Or plank, and then downward facing dog. Hips lift high. Deep breath in. Sigh it out. Another full breath. Get it out. Let your authentic sound just beam out of your mouth. <laughs> Take another breath. And maybe roar. Good. Bend your knees. Lift your hands. Step forward. Inhale. Lift halfway. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Now bend your knees. Right leg goes back. Foot down. Knee down. Untuck your right toes. Inhale and lift. Pushing away from your left foot. Exhale. Sink into it. Keep your core tight here. Inhale. Push away. Grow long in your side waist. Shoulders are heavy. Exhale. Sink. One more. Inhale. Feeling the sense of foundation here. Exhale. Pause. Take another breath. And bend the right elbow. So your hand is on your upper back. Grab the right elbow with your left hand. Take another full breath. Lean to your left as you exhale. There's my belly. Take another one. And then come back up. Good. Left forearm on your left thigh. Right arm is coming in front of the face and reaching over to the left side of the room. Really reach, like I'm pulling your hand over there. Keep your right knee rooted down, even the top of that foot, and breathe against the stretch you feel. Engage your belly as you exhale. One more. Hold it here. Last inhale, and then slowly right hand comes down. Hand down, left arm up. Full breath, roll the right shoulder back. Keep going, honey. Another big breath. Engage your belly. Now we can curl the right toes, lift that knee, activating that leg all the way even through your glute. Couple more breaths, engaging the belly, right rib cage hugging underneath you, and then left hand comes down. Left leg flips back on your plank. Take a breath, maybe knees down, you lower to the belly. Inhale, we open up that heart, and then exhale, we come back into our downward facing dog. Deep breath in. <sighs> Two more. You can bring movement in here. Spread those fingers wide. Try to take the weight out of your wrist by pushing into your upper knuckles or your palms. Good. And then let's drop to our knees. A little mini break in child's pose. Tops of the feet meet the mat. Hips to heels. Elongate your spine. Nestle your hips down here. In between those heels, rest your forehead. Remind yourself here of your intention, right? So you typically, when we find stillness in our bodies, our mind wants to take over. That's why sometimes we have restless nights of sleep, right? So focus your mind. And this focus practice on your mat will only translate in a meaningful way off of your mat. So focus your mind on your intention. Breathe, relax, release any extra tension. Take another couple. And then look up, come back up, tabletop, and we'll meet in our downward facing dog. So curl those toes, lift the knees and hips, relax your head through your arms. We're gonna slowly take our time and walk forward all the way to your hands. Once you're there, lift halfway up, long spine. Exhale, fold forward. Now we're gonna step the left leg back, warrior one. So as you step that right, or I'm sorry, left leg back, Land your toes down. Your toes are facing more towards the front left corner of the mat and then land your heel down. Now bend into your right knee. Feel that right outer hip pull to the midline of the mat. So your hips feel parallel and just pause here. I know you may wanna lift right away. Engage that left leg. Push that left heel down into the floor and keep feeling your right hip move back but keep bending your right knee. Engage your belly here. Take a couple more breaths. One more. Good. Now you can just simply reach your arms forward and up or you can bring your right hand to your knee, helping you to lift. Both arms then ultimately come up. Palms facing each other. Your hands can be by your ears if that's too much. Bring your arms forward, rolling your shoulders back into their sockets. 
And now you want to elongate through the tailbone. So feel the tail lower as this lower belly is lifting up towards your chest. Right? So you can feel the front hip points pulling up the whole front body. Feel the tailbone grow longer. Your left glute is tight to help stabilize that pull of the low spine low. Arms wherever. A couple more breaths here. One more. Good, and then we're gonna air guitar movement. So let's all bring our arms forward. Dad, this is for you. Left arm swoops down. Warrior two. Cool, right? Now bend into that right knee. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna mirror you here. So I'm gonna show you so you can see my front body. Right knee is bent, knees over the ankle, and you're elongating your stance. Don't hesitate. Feel this inner thigh stretch here. Arms are nice and wide, gazing over your front right fingers. Good. Keep your left leg active. Perfect. Now flip your right palm behind you. No, left palm behind you. Bring the back of your hand to your low back. Right palm flips up, reach forward like I'm pulling your right hand forward. Keep this right knee bent and then lift the right arm up and back, reaching all the way. Active all the way through that right arm, elbow, wrist, fingers, all of it. Feel the back of your left hand push against that tailbone, pushing your hips forward here, then deeper into the right knee. Then breathe from the right hip crease up that right side and reach back. Take another breath. Engage your belly. Inhale back to your warrior two, pause. Reach this right arm forward, elbow to your thigh, left arm up. So we're in a little supported side angle pose. You can stay here. You can straighten your right arm, pushing that right elbow into your inner knee. Slide the back of your right hand towards your inner ankle. Keep bending that right knee. Keep pushing your hips towards the right side of the mat. Now your left palm can reach to the front of the room and you reach all the way. Maybe look up. Take three breaths. Elongating, two more. One more. And then we're gonna circle this left hand down. Both hands on the inside of that right foot. Lift the left heel up, dropping that left hip parallel to the floor. Find your hands and your foundation. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna move my left foot in a little bit. Float the right leg all the way back to a three-legged dog. Find your hands first and then relax your head. Lift up through the kneecap. Start to lift your right knee on top of your left or your right hip on top of your left. Now do big circles with your right knee coming down to meet your left, opening up and out. Straighten that right leg. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. Relax your head. Good. Bend your knees, look at your hands. Walk forward or take a big step forward. Once you're there, lift halfway up, elongating that spine out of the hips. Exhale, fold. Now our right leg's going back. Drop that right foot, toes down, and then the heel drops down. Left knee is bending. Good. Now we're staying here and just a warrior one legs, right? Really working on it. So right leg is so active. Left knee is bent here, knee over the ankle. Outer left hip is pushing towards the midline of the mat. Belly is tight. Now, if you feel good here and you want a little more work, bring your hands by your hips. Just pausing in a half fold. Keep breathing wherever you are. Just working on the strength of the legs, especially that right leg behind you, pressing through the outer foot, outer heel. One more. And then if you want, left hand can come to that knee or both arms can reach forward and we lift. Both arms up by your ears or in front of you. Keep breathing. Relax your shoulders down. Start to feel your tailbone lengthen down, engaging that right glute. Super tight, bend into the left knee. Front hip points are pulling up the front of your body, opening up your chest. Good. Feel the head pull back so that the back of the neck is really long. Another full breath. Hold it here. Your arms are up. Let's bring them forward. Take another inhale. Air guitar time. There we go, Dad. Hope you like that one. My dad makes guitars, so he's a luthier. If anyone wants a homemade, handmade guitar, he's taking orders. He lives in Massachusetts. He's from England. There you go. Okay. Now the back of your right hand, or your palm, sorry, your right hand is facing behind you. Bring the back of your hand to your lower back. 
Feel that little stretch on your shoulder. Left palm flips up, we reach. Imagine me pulling you. Keep your legs right where they are. Inhale the left arm up and back. Leaning back, good. Keep bending into the left knee and breathing. Good, maybe gazing up. Remember, elongate your breath. You may be short and static with your breath here. I challenge you, one more. And then inhale, arms back to warrior two. Then we're reaching forward, left elbow bends, your palm is up, it's like you're serving a platter. Right arm goes up, palm facing the front of the mat, but you can just keep your arms into like a T here. Feel your hips push forward, good. Deeper breath, engage your belly. If you want to, left arm can go straight, pushing that left elbow on the inner knee, fingers right by that inner ankle, and your right arm can continue to reach forward. Squeeze into your core here. Two more breaths. Legs are active. And then with your exhale, right hand comes all the way down. Woo! Lift that right heel, come onto the toes. Find your foundation and then left leg floats back into your warrior or warrior. Blah, blah, blah. One single, whatever, three-legged dog, I got it, okay. Right heel comes down. Lift that left hip on top of the right, deep breaths, and then circle. Left knee comes down towards your right, opening up and up. Go in the opposite direction. And then straighten it out, downward facing dog. Take a full runner breath in. Sigh it out, make some noise. <sighs> Bend your knees, look at your hands, walk forward or step forward. Inhale and lift halfway. Exhale, fold, and then come all the way to standing. Take your time. Pull the shoulders up. Inhale, arms up. Hands to your heart. Full breath here. And release your hands. Beautiful. All right, now it's time to balance before we go ahead and lay down. So I'm going to face you. Hands to our hips. We're gonna focus on balancing on the right, or on your left foot to start, okay? So I'm gonna mirror you, I'm balancing on my right, but it's your left, okay? Bend into that standing left leg. Lift that right thigh, parallel to the ceiling and the floor. Bottom of your right foot, you can do some circles or keep it parallel to the floor. Now notice here as you're just simply standing on one leg, what happens, right? Do you kind of sink into your right hip and lean back? really buckling here, or are you resisting the floor, helping yourself to grow longer? Long tailbone, lower belly lifting. Okay, now we're gonna bring your right ankle over your left thigh. Bend that left knee a little so it becomes like a shelf. And then your hip points are coming forward as your tailbone is flipping back behind you. So naturally your heart comes forward here. We wanna focus on bending deeper into your left knee. Good, sinking your hips lower. Now your weight goes into that left heel. Deep breaths, engaging your core as you exhale. Now your hands can stay at your hips and they can travel down towards your left knee, or sorry, right knee, right ankle. Or your hands can come to your heart center. Constantly breathe into the length of your spine. Every inhale grow longer, even feel a pull through the crown of the head. And notice how that sensation of length in your spine actually helps you to feel a bit more of a stretch around your right hip, right? Because this muscle, again, we're stretching the piriformis muscle. This is the same position we were on in our backs, except we're holding behind the thigh, right? And a couple more breaths. Maybe the heart sinks a little lower. You can always drop your hands to the floor if you want. Last exhale. Now take your time coming out of this. Hands back to your heart center or your hips. Lift your torso really strong in that standing leg. Lift that right thigh. Stem that leg forward and exhale next to the left foot. Pause here in stillness. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Remind yourself of your intention. Notice the difference on the sides of your body. Okay. So the eyes can open back up. Awesome job, guys. All right, let's do the other side. So now you're balancing on your right leg. And we're gonna lift the left. 
right away. Notice what happens when you just simply lift a leg. Right? Notice what happens to the whole frame of your body. Try to keep your, your whole frame super strong and stable, and then you just simply lift a leg. Circle the ankle if you want to. Deeper breaths. And remember, every exhale, you squeeze into the center of your body so that strength emits through your limbs. Go in the other direction with your circles if you haven't already. You know where we're going, so whenever you're ready to do it, go for it. Bend that right knee. Left ankle comes over that knee. We bend, bend, bend. Hips are moving back. Weight is going in that right heel. Torso is coming forward. Hands can come to the knee or ankle whenever, or to your heart center. Think about heart pulling to the horizon, but your belly is tight and that tail is lengthening low. Sink lower, bend more into that right knee. Deeper breaths. Remember, strengthen your core. Hands again, maybe lowering to the floor if you want to. And even here, keep that belly tight. Engage that belly. Pull the navel in as you exhale. Get the belly out of the way. One more breath. Two more breaths. Last exhale. And then we're taking our time, coming back out of this. Hands to our heart. We push away from that standing right leg. We lift that left calf, thigh. <laughs> Straighten that left leg and then let it meet the right. Whew, stillness, I know you want to move. Find stillness, take a breath. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> and then let's move. Arms all the way up, reach high. Exhale, fold forward all the way down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, plank pose. Take a breath, maybe go to your down dog or lower to your belly. Inhale, your cobra or your up dog if you want. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath, sigh it out, relax your head. Another one. Last full breath. Exhale it out. Then look at your hands, bring your body weight a little bit forward. We're going to step your right foot to your outer right wrist, left foot to your outer left wrist. Toes are pointing away from your mat, and then we sink our hips low into a low squat. Elbows are on your inner knees. Palms are meeting. Good. Cool. <laughs> and then with your palms meeting, push your palms together. Push those elbows wide. Let your knees start squeezing back into your elbows. So there's this really counteraction. Engage your belly as you exhale and start to push your heart forward towards your thumbs. Deeper breaths, really active here. Engage that belly. If you want to do lion's breath, I love lion's breath. Stick your tongue out, go cross-eyed. Another one. <laughs> you can totally laugh at me, I have no problem with that, as long as I'm making you smile and happy. Okay, hands down, hands come behind you. Come to sit on your seat, bottoms of your feet meet, do a little butterfly flap in. Hold your shins, take a nice deep breath in, lengthen your spine, heart up, and then exhale, fold forward, pulling your heart forward towards those legs. Hands can interlace around your toes here. Inhale, pull your heart forward again, feel your hips push back, and then exhale lower. So you should start to feel this in your low back. Deeper breaths right into the sensations. Three more. Feel like your feet are trying to push forward, your hips are moving a little bit back so you can create space around your sacrum. Last one. And then lift up. Bring those knees together. Let your legs go long. Good. Have a seat in the middle of your mat. You have enough room to lay down. Circle the ankles. Move them all around, all around. Other direction. Okay, right knee is gonna bend. We're gonna drop that knee open and bring the bottom of your foot high up your thigh. Okay, so I'm gonna mirror you here. So rather than having this left leg out to the side, we're gonna keep it in or facing forward, so keeping it on the mat. Okay, right hand is in front of your shin, left hand is by your hip, left toes are up. Take a full breath in, and as you exhale, start to walk your hands towards this left foot. 
Now root your right hip down. Take a deep inhale, exhale, fold. Notice, and you can see it here, notice how one shoulder dips. Try to neutralize the shoulders. Try to bring your shoulders parallel to the floor and you'll start to feel this stretch through the right side body. Root that right hip down, take a breath. Feel your heart pull a little towards the toes or the horizon. Shoulders are parallel. Head heavy. Deeper breath. Let's do three more. Focus on elongating that exhale, squeezing your navel in. One more. Slowly walk back, lifting your torso up. Oh yeah. Let's switch legs. Now your right leg goes long, left knee is bent, knees wide, left hand in front of the knee, right hand on the outer hip, right leg is strong, toes up, full breath, and then slowly fold. Keep those shoulders parallel, so it's gonna be that left shoulder that's dropping. Take a deep breath, pulling your heart to the horizon, root that left hip, and reach through those left fingers. Maybe your left hand comes on your outer right foot, or ankle, or shin, Pulling you down, pulling that shoulder down, and breathe into the low back. Three more. Step your hands back towards your body. Beautiful work, guys. Let both legs go long here. And now we're going to take our time rolling down to the back. Arms up, roll down. Tuck your tailbone first. Lower back, notice how your legs are gonna to slide towards you. It'll happen, take your time, resist it. Before your shoulder blades drop, pause. Lift a little, hold it here. One more inhale, slowly roll down right before those shoulder blades. Inhale, lift a little again. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and down. Awesome. Woo! Bend those knees in, rock side to side. Little bit of core cool lift. We have to do it. <sighs> Half straddle. I love this one. Hands on your inner knees. Rock side to side. Relax those feet or do circles. Beautiful. All right, my friends. Now it's time to grab your belt, scarf, or your strap. All right. And uh, I'm going to toss one over to Jeff here. Go, honey. So with this, let's loop the bottoms of your feet. Bring your uh, feet straight up to the ceiling so your legs are long and up. <sighs> okay, scarf, belt, strap, whatever. Heels are reaching up, hands are on the outer edges or whatever, holding the strap. Tuck your shoulders underneath you so the elbows maybe come by your waist a little bit. Now reach up through those heels, good. Start to gently root your tailbone down to the floor. Just feel it push down. And then feel your heels simultaneously reach up. Take a deep breath. And then slowly pull on the strap, pulling your legs a little bit towards you. Remember, your tailbone is pulling down. Your heels are pulling up. We take a breath in. And we exhale and gently pull. Do it again. One more. Soften the grip. Let those ankles come out on top of your hips or a little past. Release the left leg down. Hold both straps with your left hand. And your right arm is going to go out to a T. Take a deep breath. Relax your whole left leg. And then pull that right leg over towards the left and roll onto your left hip here. Allow this to happen. Good. Gaze over that right arm. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale and just soften into it. Relax that left leg a little bit more. See if you can pull your toes, the right toes, towards your face a little bit. Good. If there's, a, if there's any kind of uncomfortable stretch sensation behind your right knee, bend the knee. Just be gentle around that knee joint. Or activate the muscles around your knee joint, and that will help you protect it. So engaging your thigh, engage that lower leg. Take one more breath. Good. Engage your core, lift that leg back up. Now we're gonna bring the left leg back up. Loop that foot under the strap, release your right leg. Grab, grab both straps with your right hand, or a scarf, whatever. 
Left arm out to a T, roll all the way onto your right hip. Noticing how your left shoulder could lift, let it lift. Take a breath. Exhale, relax into this twist. Try to keep pulling that scarf or belt or whatever on your left foot. So you're pulling those toes towards your face a little more. Maybe one day just reaching your peace fingers for a big toe. Last deep breath. Get and then look back up. Release that strap. Bring both knees into your chest. Again, rock side to side. Maybe that half straddle feels good. Or now you can make it a full straddle, reaching your legs long, heels out, holding those inner knees or thighs, rocking. Good. Bend, bring your knees in. Hold on around your shins, bring your nose up to your knees, squeeze like a tiny little ball. And here, push your shins into your hands to feel like your spine is lifting off the floor. Take another breath. And then exhale, release it all for your final resting pose, the most important pose of our practice, Shavasana. So you can bring whatever props in that you want to to help support this posture. This posture can first just be you on your mat, legs wide, maybe feet a little wider than your hips, arms by your side, maybe a bolster under your knees, or you could even throw your legs up the couch or the wall. Settle in as quickly as you can so we can take advantage here together to rest. So allow your eyes to close. Let's breathe together and exhale all of the stale air out of your body. So exhale, open mouth. Feel your lips and take a deep breath in. Fill all the way up, hold it. Sip it up. Open mouth, exhale. Deflate your body here. Get any wiggles and jiggles out so that you can commit to stillness. Relax your head and the neck and your shoulders. Relax the eyes and the eyelids over the eyeballs. Feel the tip of your tongue release from the roof of your mouth. Feel your jaw get heavy. Feel your shoulders, and your arms relax. Your back is relaxed. Hips feel heavy against the mat. Legs are long and soft. Your whole body is relaxed right here and now. Just living in this moment in complete effortlessness. Just being here right now, enjoying a sense of release. A sense of comfort in doing nothing. Knowing that you've worked hard to get here and you deserve these moments of rest. So with every exhale, even if you feel relaxed, give yourself the permission to relax more. And slowly begin to deepen your breath. And slowly begin to reawaken your body. Wriggling your fingers and wriggling your toes. Rocking your head side to side. Rolling the eyes underneath your eyelids and maybe even swallowing. 
And now we'll do a full body stretch. Reach your arms behind you and your legs forward and reach and stretch and flex everything in between. And then relax the body. Bend your knees, roll over to your side for a moment, landing there. For a moment here, remind yourself of your intention. And then slowly start to press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Keeping your eyes closed along the way, just feeling your way. Roll the shoulders up and back, take a nice deep nourishing breath inside. Then an open mouth exhale. Let the corners of your mouth lift to your ears, give yourself a big smile, and then take another deep breath with that smile on your face. And exhale everything else out. Be proud of yourself, feel accomplished, be grateful. Let's bring our palms together in front of our hearts. Begin to rub your palms to generate heat and energy. Once you feel that heat and energy, bring your warm palms to cup over your closed eyes, barely draping your hands on your face. Take a nice deep breath in, absorbing that all inside. And very gently release your hands over the face, over your eye and your cheeks and your jaw. Palms meeting again in front of your heart. Believe in yourself and do what you are supposed to. Appreciate yourself, enjoy yourself, and love yourself. From my heart to yours, namaste.